Ooh, I am going to get banned in Pokemon Go if I do not explain this to you guys. You guys must be thinking that I'm trying to clickbait you guys or maybe even wondering to yourself what is going on. Well, I'll explain and show you guys but hi, hi to all of you guys. So let me go ahead to bring my screen up and yeah, show you guys a few things, man. So first of all, let's go ahead to check out Twitter. All right, this particular tweet that I did just a day ago, and I stated this, just a regular day for me when red hour starts in Europe. Thank you to my old friends, supposed to be to all my friends in Europe for sending me weekly rates. And I showed a short clip of me receiving 10 concurrent rate invitations for Dialgia. But something in the comment section caught my attention. All right, not uh, some of the images that we're gonna see right now, including uh, this one by Toxic Potato Z. He said he found me in Europe rate. Thank you very much. And also not this particular one who actually uh, got himself a lot of shiny Dialgias. Neither is it this by Kelly No Fear who got himself his Shando Dialgia. Neither is it this by Amy who actually wanted me to add her son. I'm so sorry, but I can't. But it's this particular comment by Roger View. He asked the question, is that why you have a non-remote rate tag Hando Mewtwo location says in Norway when you were making a video in Singapore? When I read this comment, I was genuinely confused. Like, what is he talking about? Until I saw the image that he is showing over there, it's a screen grab from one of my videos showing the 100% IV Mewtwo, which I've shown with the location tag over there caught at a red Oslo, Oslo, Norway. So the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this was that somebody must have taken a screen grab of my video and photoshopped the location to try to frame me to say that I spoof. But I actually went to reply, Roger, you know, I told him that it's not the first time that it happened, happened to another mon in another video too. And he asked me whether did I figure out what had that uh, happened. And I told him that I recall the moment when I caught this Mewtwo and which I'll tell you guys later on also. But let's go ahead and check out the video itself. And it's this particular clip, all right, catching Shiny and Hando Dioga during the Ultra Unlock event in Pokemon Go. This was the video that I did 10 Dialgia raids and I got one shiny, one Hando. The last raid was the Hando Dialgia. But at the start of the video, I showed this, my 100% Pokemon that I caught for the last few days. All right. Mm hmm Yep. Okay, we're going to have to pause over here. Okay, so over there. When I saw this video again, after reading Roger's comment, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> I was genuinely confused, like, what? How did that happen? And furthermore, you know, I did not even notice this at all after catching the Mewtwo. Neither did I notice this uh, during the editing process also. I edit all my videos, by the way, by myself. Nobody is editing for me. So, well, let's go ahead to check out the Mewtwo in Pokemon Go itself. How about that? All right, let's go ahead to type Mewtwo. Okay, and look at this. This is the Mewtwo. You guys can check out the weight and the height. It's exactly the same Mewtwo as what Roger shown and also from that video clip itself, 116.71 kilograms and also two meters in height. So let's scroll down to see the location. Yeah, it still shows caught at a rate Oslo, Oslo, Norway. Why? <laughs> Why is it shown like this? I mean, there's no way that I could travel out of Singapore to do that raid. So a lot of people in the comment section in that particular video actually suspected that I spoofed you know, because uh, the location by right, it should be like this, remotely caught at a rate and it shows wherever that the rate invitation was sent from and the location that you catch will be shown at the bottom, which, you know, I'm only playing Pokemon Go right now in Singapore, not able to travel at all. So if you check out the Mewtwo after that also, this one was a remote rate invitation from Germany and the location that I caught was in Singapore. So it begs the question, how did I get this Mewtwo, all right, with this location tag? So, before I even show you guys how it happened and tell you guys how it happened, let me tell you guys what exactly happened when I was catching this Mewtwo. So, when I had this Mewtwo appear for me, 
I was with Auntie Gladys on the bus. And we were bus grinding. And this appeared, 2387 Mewtwo. And I told Auntie Gladys, oh wow, my third Hando Mewtwo. Um, but I told her that I don't really need it because I already gotten two and I'm only going to max out two Hando non-Shadow Mewtwo for Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y. So this particular Mewtwo technically is of no use to me. I'm not going to power it up to level 50 or even 40 at all because I'd rather power up Shadow Mewtwo. But eventually I caught it, not even noticing the location at all. All right. So it begs the question, let's say I really did spoof to get this Mewtwo. What was the purpose? Like, I'm receiving raid invitation from my friends overseas, like, non-stop. There wasn't a need for me to spoof to the exact location to do this raid. That's first of all. Second of all, why would I want to put my reputation, my livelihood, YouTube, on the line just for this Hando Mewtwo? And third of all, why would I need to spoof for a legendary raid boss from a raid to get a Hando off when clearly the odds of getting a Hando from a raid, it's still the same no matter where you did the raid from. Even if it's weather boosted or not, it's 1 in 216 chance for that to happen. So, that tweet that Roger put out was done to roughly two days ago. And I was really confused. Like, how did this happen? Like, I was genuinely confused. So, for the last one and a half days, I actually spent, you know, my time actually searching online, on Reddit, etc. There was no information. Nobody, you know, was talking about this or whatsoever. If you guys are wondering how come I... Um, items are coming is because the ball plus is automatically spinning the Pokestop. Okay, nothing got to do with whatever apps that I'm using. All right, so back to this Mewtwo. How did I get this? Hmm, did I spool for it? Obviously not. All right, but let me show you guys and tell you guys what exactly happened. I accidentally came across the solution to this problem. All right, let's type Magneton and let's check out this Magneton that I favorited. All right. This Magneton also has the same problem, and it was caught just yesterday. It was a raid invitation from my friend from Sweden, okay? And you guys must be wondering, like, how did this happen also? Well, I can show you guys how it happened. By right, it's supposed to be like this. The location is supposed to be like this, or in fact, like this. Yeah, I'm also doing a overseas a Magneton and whatever raids because I want to get it for the candy X and trade to Antigladis or N. But let's go ahead to see if I got a raid invitation from my friend. Okay, I'm not going to take this one because... The yoga is going to be quite hard to perform it. Okay, let me tell you guys and show you guys how, how it happened for the Mewtwo itself. But let's wait for a tier 1 or tier 3 invite, okay? And also, if you guys are wondering how come I'm all the way across the road, because my character drifted there. I've shown many times in a lot of my videos that I really do not want it to drift there because I normally, I will be stationed here, over here at that Pokestop. But it just wants to run. See guys, I'm not doing anything, it's just running across here and there by its own, okay? Okay guys, we finally got a raid invitation from my friend. And it's a Kranados raid from Germany. I'm not going to like cut the video or anything, just to show you guys that everything is like that. I'm not going to cut it at all. So let's go ahead into the raid. Alright, let's go in, into the raid lobby. Okay, and I'll show you guys uh, what actually happened for that particular Mewtwo to have a location like that. Okay, but uh, uh, let's just jump straight to the part where the battle starts, otherwise we're going to have to spend 70 seconds waiting for this. You guys know what, I just realized, I forgot to explain to you guys how that Magneton got that location also. I actually left my home yesterday and I was heading out to go and grind. So I was doing the raid while making my way into the elevator of my condo. And I actually caught the Magneton when I was in the elevator itself. So usually when I'm in the elevator, there's no GPS at all. So after catching that Magneton, I saw that the location was like that. Before this, I did not know that the location would be affected because the GPS is, you know, um, turned off or it basically lost GPS due to you being underground or in an elevator or whatsoever. But let's go ahead and check out this Kranados. This Kranados, you know, you guys saw clearly, is a raid invitation from my friend. Thank you very much for the raid invitation. I did not arrange for my friend or anything or whatsoever. But normally I receive raid invitations randomly like that. Okay, so normally we would just go ahead to catch the Kranados, right? But assuming I'm catching the 100% IV Mewtwo, halfway, and the GPS signal actually turned off by accident. So in order to simulate that happening, let's go to our general privacy location services turn it off 
okay and basically let's say i'm in the elevator to catch this uh it will say it, 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 this message will not appear at all this will message will not appear also all right you can actually catch the pokemon yep it will be like that let's say you are in the elevator and this is what you'll be like okay or maybe underground and let's go ahead to catch the uh Kranidos or the mewtwo yeah like i said i was on the bus with auntie gladys and i caught the mewtwo and the gps basically lost signal for that moment okay and resulted in this let's go ahead to scroll down and see caught at a rate the remotely caught at a rate that thing was gone if you guys think that i'm trying to photoshop us i'm going to just move it like this or basically edit the the video footage yeah, you guys can go ahead to try it yourself. So when you guys lose GPS signal and you guys are catching a remote raid invite raid boss, this will happen also. If you guys don't believe me, well, let's go ahead to turn on location services again. Okay, and let's go ahead to check out that recent uh, raid that I did. Let's go ahead to type raid. And this was the Cranidos, right? 1224 CP. Still the same, caught at a raid. Guys, know what? I actually did a few test runs. This Cranidos also caught at a raid. I did the turn off GPS again. This unowned also. This Cranidos also. How in the world did I travel from United Kingdom to Germany to Belgium to, uh, uh, yeah, all those places in just a short amount of time? I really do not know, man. Of course, it has to do with some GPS issue that the game experiences also. All right, so that's why my Mewtwo, the location is like this. And not what exactly I wanted. <laughs> Initially, before finding out about this, I wanted to transfer the Mewtwo away. But I told myself, like, I did not even spoof for it. Neither did I get this, like, illegitimacy. Like, why would I want to transfer this Mewtwo away? I mean, not that it's important to me or anything, but I'm just puzzled as to why this happened. And finally, I figured it out. All right. And even if we were to force close the app, which I actually did try also, force close and do whatever you want, you know. Maybe refreshing the data would work because I did not do that at all. Okay, let's go ahead to force close the app. I'm not even going to like cut anything at all. You guys are going to see all this so that there isn't chance for me to like edit the footage or whatsoever in a manner that it doesn't, you know, uh, show the right things or the actual things. So this is the Cranidos, right? 1224CP. It still shows the same. No matter what you do. Unless, like I say, you refresh the uh, data, which I've not done that at all. If you actually go to the settings over here and scroll all the way to the very bottom, there's an advanced settings which you can refresh your game data. I'm not too sure if uh, that will actually um, solve the problem. I mean, I could try it after the video. But that is basically all that I have to show to you guys, man. For those of you who are wondering how come the location of my Mewtwo is Oslo, Oslo, no way and not actually like remotely caught at a rate or something like that. You know, this kind of things happens. And like I said, I was genuinely puzzled at the start when this happened and even for Roger View to point that out to me. Seriously, thank you very much for pointing this out to me because I do not want anybody to be suspected of being a spoofer, especially legit players out there who are doing remote raids like that. And somehow or rather you lose signal for your GPS and you got a 100% IV or a Shando Pokemon that was caught like this and people suspect that you spoofed for it when clearly you did not travel to that country at all. Yeah, so hopefully uh, this resolves some problems for some of you guys who are facing. I hope none of you guys are facing this problem because just so happened that that particular video that I made was the 100% Mewtwo that I show and just so happened that that problem occurred to that Mewtwo and just so happened sharp eyes people like Roger actually pointed it out and notified me about it but thank you very much guys appreciate it but yeah if that's it i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video hopefully i do not get banned by niantic for whatever reason and if i do i'm so sorry i do not spoof i've never spoofed i don't even know how to spoof and i'll never spoof the day i start spoofing is the day that i quit pokemon go and the day that i quit pokemon go is also the day that i delete Pokemon Go app from my iPad. That's what I always tell people. So, in short, I will never spoof at all. Alright, it's time to say goodbye. So, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!